Coming up to the stage, we have a performer that is doing his first act with us for the first time. So give it up for Greg. Fuck that guy. How dare you do that to me? It's tough because he's funny all on his own, and he's relevant for this convention. Because I'm new to anime. This is my first, my first year at Anime Expo. It's my first year like really getting like, into the anime culture. So it's intimidating to follow that. Because like, like, what I've found is that anime, like the, the anime fans, you were all kind of the misfits when, we, when you were young. Like, you were the misfits of high school, of college. You, 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 were, you were, and, and I just, I feel like a misfit among, mis among misfits. I, I don't have enough pastels in my wardrobe. I, I don't understand most of the references. Like I was having a conversation this morning with a bunch of people and they were like, so what, what's your favorite anime? And I, I told them honestly, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and they tried to tell me like, that's not anime. And I said, then I, I guess I don't like anime. <laughs> It, 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 but it, it's, it's such a it's such a cool cool convention. All the costumes, all the cosplay. It, it's it's so much fun to see all the costumes because you guys invested so much money and time and energy and love in it. And I just feel like it's wasted on me because I don't know who you are. <laughs> so I'm keeping myself entertained by guessing wrong on purpose. Like I, I try and accuse everyone of being Doctor Who, which is it almost got me hit on on day one. This woman was offended. Doctor who? I said, that's what I said. I asked one girl if she was Tank Girl and she looked at me like I was an asshole. She was like, no, I'm not, I'm not Tank Girl. I'm something Japanese. I don't even remember what she said. So I did the, I did the responsible thing. I offered to loan her all of my Tank Girl comics. I just, I feel so out of place sometimes here. Um, and it, it's, it's such a different culture, especially the, the women. Like, I, I, I like to think that I'm funny, which leads sometimes into charm. So I'm able to talk to women normally. But here it's so hard because the women are, I just imagine, I guess maybe you're not used to someone so, uh, so attentive and so kind of forward. Uh, I started just talking to a woman this morning uh, and I complimented her on the costume. I said, you're beautiful. I, I'm Greg, it's so nice to meet you. And she squeaked at me. And I, I've gotten a lot of different responses from women. I, I've, I've gotten the dismissal and, and I've been ignored. I had a woman laugh at me once, like, you're so sweet, you think you can talk to me. <laughs> but I've never been squeaked at before and I don't know what that means. Like, it, is it a good thing? Is it, was, she, was she nervous of me talking to her? Like, I, I just interpreted the way I figured made the most sense that she knew that I would be bad for her world. I would end up ruining her worldview. She's obviously a good person with a normal, steady home. Um, and I'm, I'm an awful person. Um, I, I'm afraid of everything. I'm not much of a man. I'm kind of a beta male. I'm afraid of just about anything. I don't like snakes. Uh, they don't have legs, so they shouldn't be able to move. That's magic, I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't, trust, I don't like spiders, too many legs, too many fangs. I don't like sharks. The fact that sharks still exist baffles me. Like if sharks didn't exist, we would write horror movies about sharks. It's a monster that with rows of teeth, jet black eyes, and it never sleeps, and it just wants to eat shit. The fact that we haven't risen as one to wipe them out makes no sense to me. We are not we are not the top of the food chain anymore. If sharks figure it out, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't trust anything with, with more than four legs or less than two. I'm, I'm iffy about like amputated animals. If it's got three legs, it's usually like a shitty mean dog. Something bad <laughs> happened and it's unfixable. Um, and it goes across the board. I'm, I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna preface this. You're gonna like me less after this joke. Uh, I don't like amputees. <laughs> And I'm, I'm aware that it's a not a popular opinion. It's just the reality that I live and I can't fix it. And I've tried to be better about it. I, I actually met a woman uh, recently and she was, she was an amputee and, and I did the best I could to get past it. She was just so 
mangled it. She was missing one digit on her ring finger, which would, wouldn't seem like a big deal, but it just ruined it for me from the beginning. We're at a dinner party and she's, she's sweet, she's funny, she's smart, she's interesting, she's college educated. We're sitting there, we're having a good time, she's laughing at all my jokes, which makes her incrementally more attractive as the night goes on. And she reaches across the table and grabs the wine bottle, and I go, why would you hold the bottle like that? Oh, no. <laughs> and I made that face and she saw it. And you have to understand that even as you pull away during this joke, she's better than all of us because she did not pull away. She, I mean, she, 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 was, she was understanding, she was like, go ahead and just ask the question. I've heard it all before, you could, you could ask anything. So I asked what anyone would ask. Like, do you use a real cell phone or do they have like special ones for you people? <laughs> do you get like to vote still? <laughs> or is it like three fifths of a vote? <laughs> like the stuff that all of us want to know about amputees. And I mean, even through it all, I just, it, she warmed my heart because no matter what I said, she just kept, kept going with it. I mean, she let me get to second base. That's pretty impressive. That's a hand job from a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I checked that off the bucket list. Let's see you do that. And that, that, that's, uh, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you so much.